This is Smart Pizza, and in today's hour-long episode, I'll show you the rarest and most unusual animals you didn't know existed. In this compilation, you'll see incredible mutants and hybrid animals, an eight-legged goat and a two-faced cat, a buffalo crocodile and an unknown creature that resembles the Eye of Sauron. I'll also tell you about the creepy creatures found in Chernobyl and show you rare footage of tiny octopuses, crocodiles, and antelopes. These abnormal animals are worth a look. Let's go! Two-Faced Cat Many pets of any of us would fit this characteristic because our cats are sometimes very sweet and kind, but sometimes they show all their aggressive character and make us nervous. Nevertheless, there is a specific case of a two-faced cat in the literal sense of the word. That is Frank and Louie, a cat with two personalities living in his body. The first, the one that's Frank, sees with only one eye. The other, Louie, can't purr. Despite such an unusual and creepy mutation, the cat lived a record-breaking 15 years. How did it happen at all that the cat ended up with two faces? Well, the owner gives the following answer in this question. These cats were victims of a cruel chromosomal mutation called diprosopus, which literally means two-faced in Greek. Usually, such individuals die quickly, but Frank and Louie were lucky. They turned out to have one functioning brain, which divided the duties between the cats. Also, the cat ended up with only one working mouth and, as a consequence, a common esophagus. Of course, the owner of this creature also brought great benefits for their survival. In fact, we have an example of a story that demonstrates what can be achieved in an alliance between a human and an animal, reinforced by the fortitude of both participants. Eight-Legged Goat She was born in northeastern Croatia. As soon as she was born, the farm owner immediately noticed this mutation. He thought he was feeling unwell and asked a neighbor to count the goat's legs. But when the second man said the same thing, the man's fears were confirmed. According to doctors, it was due to some kind of underdevelopment of the goat. Despite the cute appearance it still had, the situation was unfavorable. The most dangerous thing in this case was to survive the first week. If all is well, after that, there are chances of living a few more years or even more. However, there's no way to know the end of the story because there's no information about the goat's fate. You know, usually I have a positive attitude, but here, seeing how the goat's not just barely on her feet, but just barely lying down, I think things are bad. <laughs> Croco Buffalo This creature was called something like that when it was first spotted in Thailand. Ugh, it's hideous! Oh, that's not very nice. It's just a donkey. Huh? Of course, I've heard a lot about that country in Asia with its rich culture and stuff, but not to this extent. This creature has scaly skin like a reptile and a head like a crocodile. Nevertheless, if eyewitnesses are to be believed, we're looking at a baby buffalo. The birth of such a strange creature raises many questions and none of the scientists have answers to. How could the creature come from a buffalo and have scales with an elongated snout? It's unclear. In any case, the inhabitants of the village where the creature was found hope that it will bring them happiness and good luck. Now, that's what I call the right attitude. Arnold Schwarzenegger Everyone knows this actor and award-winning bodybuilder, but if this man is a star among humans, this dog is a kind of Schwarzenegger of the animal world. You're looking at Big Wendy, a dog whose appearance is very far from the long, thin members of the hound dog breed. This dog was born with a genetic disorder that made her look like an incredibly enormous greyhound. At the same time, her head, heart, lungs, and feet were the same size as those of a normal whippet a breed that Wendy just happened to be. The dog weighed several times more than her congeners and also stood out because of her enormous muscles. Usually, any defect leads to a shortened lifespan, but that isn't the case with Wendy. The dog lived 14 years, just like the average Whippet, and passed away in 2017. Birdfish If these creatures really existed and were considered the norm, would they prey on regular fish? Be sure to write your guesses in the comments below the video once you get a closer look at this birdfish. It was discovered somewhere in China. This fish had the head of a pigeon. At first, it might have looked like the fish was trying to eat the feathered creature, but things soon began to fall into place. The creature was a mutant. 
Surprisingly, the mutant had been fished out of the water, which meant that it still existed in its own world. No matter how stunned the fishermen were, they still released the fish back into the water and posted the video on the internet. Another kind of fisherman. This time it happened in Japan. A group of friends noticed this strange creature, which at first glance resembles a jellyfish. But people couldn't find out what exactly it was. You have to admit that this creature looks very creepy, and it's unlikely anyone would want to come in contact with it. But if the appearance scares you, then you haven't seen what's under the body of this creature yet. There's something there that resembles the pink eye of Sauron, or something equally epic. There is evil there that does not sleep, and the great eye is ever watchful. It shrinks and gives you the chills all over your body from the first seconds. After making the fisherman speechless with astonishment, the creature decided not to stop and soon did what few would have expected. First, some kind of liquid shot out of that Sauron's eye, and then the creature exploded in front of people, showering them with a strange liquid. A cat with wings. That's what you can jokingly call your favorite furry pet that jumps and hops everywhere it can, breaking furniture and making you worry. But if it's a metaphor in that case, I'll show you a real cat with wings It was born in a Chinese town. At first it seemed most ordinary, but after a month the kitten had bumps on its back. The breeder, in front of whom all this was happening, immediately took the animal to the vet, but the latter was powerless. Moreover, even the blood tests showed that the animal was fine. Still, the breeder saw with her own eyes that something was wrong with the animal. These very bumps grew along with the cat as it grew older. Amazingly, the pet could wave them around, creating the illusion of flight. There are quite a few theories about this mutation, but according to the main one, it's a genetic disease called cutaneous asnea. This disease causes the skin on the back of animals to become too elastic and twisted. Hit the like button if at least one of these rare animals surprised you. And while you're doing that, I'll move on to the second part of this video, in which I'll tell you about various rare animals, of which there are only a few around the world. Araripe Mannequin Sounds unusual to say the least, doesn't it? I bet most of you have never heard of such a bird in your life. I'd love to talk more about this little beauty, but I don't think we can, since there isn't enough information about it. The bird is extremely rare and, moreover, was discovered only in 1996. At the beginning of the 21st century, scientists had only 50 individuals of this species. Positive news is that after a few years, the numbers increased by five times, but it's not definitely a positive trend. These birds live quite long, about 14 years, their size is tiny, they feed mainly on plants and small fruits, and of course, on insects. It's curious to observe how this bird eats some food larger in size than itself. The males of this species are quite attractive. Their snow-white plumage and red crest are very harmoniously combined to make this rare and small bird quite noticeable. Philippine Crocodile Freshwater crocodiles in the Philippines are among the most vulnerable animals. They're characterized by their small, golden-brown body size, large muzzle, and thick, bony plates on their backs. They also have quite an impressive jaw with 66 to 68 teeth, which regularly fall out and are replaced by new ones. This endangered species used to really be found everywhere in the Philippines, but now there are only a few islands where they live. These crocodiles prefer estuarine and coastal habitats, as well as freshwater bodies such as ponds, marshes, and small rivers. During the day, reptiles prefer to bask in the sun. Interestingly, they open their mouths to cool down a bit if they get too hot. Another interesting fact is that crocodiles eat rocks to control their buoyancy and balance on the surface of the water, as well as to help them digest dense food. Overly popular hunting for the skin of these unique species has led to the mass extinction of the population. However, they are now threatened by another problem – the destruction of their habitat. Tropical forests are being cut down for rice paddies as the authorities need to provide food for the ever-growing population. Philippine Eagle As you may have guessed by now, this majestic bird can only be found in the Philippines. Although the Philippine Eagle sometimes spends time on forest borders and has even been found in regions where forests have been cleared, 
It's still a true forest raptor that hunts, builds nests, and raises its chicks only in the forest. However, its habitat is sometimes located at high altitudes. However, deforestation and conversion of forest to agricultural land is destroying much of the habitat of this species. Therefore, in recent years, eagles have been forced to live mostly on slopes, which tend to be safer as they're harder for humans to reach. The Philippine eagle is not only one of the largest of its kind, but also one of the most beautiful eagles. In the natural system of a particular region, everything is interconnected, and when one species dies out, another may disappear as well because they could, for example, provide each other with food. The Philippine eagle is one such animal on which many other species depend. This is why it's especially important to pay attention to the eagles in order to preserve the ecosystem as a whole. Red Dog The red dog still remains in the top of the rarest creatures in the world. Moreover, it's one of the rarest of all wolves. This amazing species is classified as endangered to this day. In 1980, there were only 200 red dogs left, and every last one of them was held in captivity. The species was released in the wild in North Carolina in 1987 on the occasion of an operation to breed the species. The red dog is a wild dog, somewhere between a coyote and a gray wolf in size. As it matures, its legs, as well as its ears, become longer than those of similar species. Golden Tiger The Golden Tiger, also known as the Golden Tabby Tiger or the Strawberry Tiger, is a tiger with a recessive gene that causes color variations. In fact, these tigers just possess a distinctive appearance and are not a separate subspecies. The golden tiger got its unusual coloration because of a recessive mutation called wideband. It impairs the formation of black coloring during the animal's hair growth cycle. The distinctive feature of this tiger is the light or golden hue of the coat and the red-brown stripes. Since the unusual color has no official name, it's sometimes called strawberry because of the light strawberry hue of the animal. Interestingly, such unusual appearance traits are very rare. As of today, there are less than 30 individuals of these rare tigers left, but there are many more carriers of the gene. Hainan Black Crested Gibbon The Hainan Black Crested Gibbon is the most endangered primate, not only among all primates but also among mammals in general. It resembles something like a toy stuffed animal because of its thick, fluffy fur and bizarre appearance. The females are golden with a black spot on top, while the males are completely black. The primate has no tail and instead has the peculiarity of a beautiful mohawk on its head. Amusingly, the males also have a golden yellow mustache which gives them the look of cool country singers. These gibbons are not very large. They weigh about 16 to 18 pounds and are about 3 feet tall. The species has fairly long limbs and slim build. There are only 20 individuals of the Hainan Black Crested Gibbon left in the world. This fact makes the species extremely vulnerable. Nevertheless, this does not prevent the gibbons from enjoying seeds and flowers, a tasty snack of figs, and insects every day. Sumatran Rhino Many rhinoceros species have faced population declines in recent history, and unfortunately, the Sumatran Rhino is no exception. This species can be recognized by its shaggy red hair and ability to climb mountains but these days it's rarely seen in the wild. After the mainland population went extinct in Malaysia several years ago, fewer than 300 individuals remain on the planet. Numbers are due to terrible illegal poaching, as rhino horns can be very expensive. In addition, the horns are often used to make amulets because of the belief that they protect against any poison. However, it's not only the horns that are in demand. The dried meat of these animals is used to cure everything from diarrhea to leprosy. Besides poaching, there's another reason contributing to the extinction of Sumatran rhinos. The tropical forests in which they live are often targeted by illegal loggers because the trees are rare and valuable. It's worth noting that black rhinos are also in danger. Tree Kangaroo Another rare and fascinating at-risk animal is the tree kangaroo. It represents a serious aberration in evolution. The tree kangaroo genus inhabits the rainforests of the island of New Guinea the northeastern part of the Australian state of Queensland and the surrounding islands. Most species are found in mountainous terrain, although some can be found on the plains. The genus as a whole is threatened but not endangered. However, some subspecies have either been declared extinct or are at risk. 
This is because deforestation takes away their homes, leaving them vulnerable to predators and hunters. Yes, unfortunately, tree kangaroos are not only hunted by predators, but also by many local tribes and communities. The land they used to live on is now used mostly for rice, wheat, and coffee production. Now you know about some rare and endangered animals, but as you remember, there are almost 9 million species of animals on our planet. And among them, you can find many unique creatures that are not like ordinary species. Let's take a look at them, too. Zorse. Zorse, or Zebrula, as it's also called, looks like an animal which print was printed, but at some point the printer ran out of ink. Zorse is a very strange creature, if only because it's yet another experiment in mixing different animals. Apparently, an ordinary mule wasn't enough, so scientists created this animal. Interestingly, Zorses are usually prone to dwarfism, which makes them even more amusing or even cute. <laughs> Albino seal People usually admire unusual special animals, but the truth is that the animals themselves usually reject white crows because of their differences. The chance of unique animals appearing is about one in a hundred thousand which makes them even more interesting to observe and study. White Serval The white serval looks just like a creature from a winter wonderland, but these creatures certainly do not live in snowy regions. They are usually albinos because their natural fur is completely white. The serval is the object of fishing because its pelt is used for fur products. It's also valued in some parts of Africa because of its meat. But the white serval is not only popular among hunters of rare animals, Fans of unusual pets also appreciate the royal, majestic appearance of the subspecies. Fortunately, servals are fairly easy to tame and can be comfortable in captivity. Ghost Shark Scientists should change the system of naming animals. For example, this striking creature is called a ghost shark, although it's not a shark at all. However, it's still a relative of the shark, and in the dark eyes of this fish, you can see a misty glow. Migaloo Everyone knows there are blue whales, but have you ever heard of white whales? Or more specifically, have you ever heard of albino whales? They're extremely rare creatures that can be seen only once in a lifetime, and only if you're very lucky. Humpback whale named Migaloo is just one of these individuals. The white whale was first discovered in 1991. He became famous for his unusual appearance. Unlike other humpback whales, he has a completely white color. Over 30 years, Researchers have discovered only three white humpback whales other than Migaloo. It's believed that all of them are albinos and that they're all descendants of Migaloo. As scientists say, spotting an albino whale is like discovering a needle in a haystack, because such an anomaly occurs only one in every 40,000 individuals. Even researchers who follow Migaloo have only seen him a couple of times in their entire careers, let alone ordinary people. Only a handful of people have been lucky enough to see Migaloo in his habitat off the coast of Australia. Migaloo is not the only rare whale in this episode. Blue whales are among the rarer sea creatures, too. Surprised? It may seem strange to many people that blue whales are considered rare, but it's the plain truth. Many people talk about blue whales. These creatures are regularly observed in the natural environment, and many tourists have seen these giants live. But blue whales are far from the most numerous inhabitants of the world ocean. If before the beginning of the 20th century, these largest animals on Earth were distributed in almost all the oceans and there were hundreds of thousands of them, today there are only a few thousand remaining. Active whaling, which was banned only in 1966, is to blame. But the measures didn't help too much. Blue whales are still being hunted today. Besides the increased noise background in the ocean, in particular due to sonar, prevents blue whales to navigate in the ocean and communicate with each other, which in turn makes it difficult to find a mate for reproduction. And yet, blue whales aren't doing so badly. Everything's relative, right? California porpoises, called vaquitas, are doing much worse. Some scientists believe it's the rarest animal in the world because they estimate that there are less than 10, if not 5, animals of the species left in the wild. The vaquita is the smallest of its kind. It only grows to about 150 centimeters and weighs about 50 kilograms, while many other harbor porpoises weigh more than 120 kilograms and grow to 2.5 meters. This species is also interesting because it's extremely slow-moving. The vaquita periodically rises to the surface to breathe 
and almost immediately disappears into the water. This makes it even more difficult to study and protect the species. According to scientists, the vaquita population is keeping to decline today because these animals are very often caught in gill nets. Scientists speculate that only a complete ban on the use of fishing nets in these animals' habitat will preserve the rare species. But the prognosis is pessimistic. Most likely, the species will become extinct very soon. Due to its characteristics, the vaquita can be called not only a rare but also a very unusual sea creature. The marine world is limitless, so in the water abyss you can find other amazing animals that will surprise you. Stay tuned to see a yeti sea creature, a Disney octopus, the world's most incredible jellyfish, and other rare and just cool sea creatures. For years, conspiracy theorists have been trying to find the yeti. Scientists beat them to it. It turned out that yetis really existed. But it was necessary to look for them not on the surface but underwater. The Yeti is a crab. The Yeti crab was one of the major discoveries of 2005 when the expedition explored the Pacific Ocean, found highly unusual creatures covered with fur at a depth of 2,400 meters. This is why they were called Yeti crabs, although the scientific name is Kiwa Hirsuta. In fact, these crabs are not really covered with fur. Rather, these are long, pinnate bristles that cover the crustacean's breasts and limbs. According to scientists, many bacteria live in the bristles, which serve a useful function – to clean the water from poisonous substances released by hydrothermal springs, near which yeti crabs live. It's also been suggested that these bacteria serve as food for the crabs. Dumbo Octopus If we go even further down from where the yeti crab lives, we can see such wondrous creatures. It's not without reason that these octopuses are called Dumbo. The animal got its name because of the ear-like outgrowths protruding from the top of its head, which resemble the ears of Dumbo, the Disney elephant. It also has a scientific name, Grimpotheus. These cute creatures live at a depth of 3,000 to 4,000 meters and are one of the rarest octopuses. They're also one of the most insidious deep-sea creatures. Despite their cute appearance, most of the time these octopuses swim above the seabed in search of food, bristle worms, and various crustaceans. Unlike other octopuses, these octopuses swallow their prey whole. That's brutal and ruthless. Atolla jellyfish When we talk about jellyfish, we usually imagine a translucent, pinkish-colored creature with long tentacles. Hardly any of you can imagine such a jellyfish, right? This is because it's a rare and unique species, the existence of which most people have no idea. The Atolla jellyfish boasts an interesting appearance and, in addition, it glows in the dark if it senses danger. But it emits the column of light not to intimidate but to attract the attention of the enemy of its enemy. When a potential predator attacks, the Atolla jellyfish emits light pulses. Very large fish swim to the flashes of light and immediately show interest in the predator that's attacked the jellyfish. The aggressor instantly forgets about everything because now it itself is in danger and in the meantime, the red, crafty jellyfish has an ideal opportunity to sneak out and thus escape. To scam is all about this jellyfish. Christmas Tree Worm The Christmas Tree Worm is the name of the sea bristle worms, scientifically called Spirobranchus giganteus. Their shape and coloring are very bizarre. Christmas Tree Worms come in a variety of colors – red and white, blue, yellow, red, white. These worms live mostly in the subtropical regions of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. Christmas tree worms live in calcareous tubes, which they build themselves from calcium dissolved in the water. Such tubes are characteristic of the entire Serpulidae family to which these worms belong. The body of the worm is enclosed in the tube and only the gills, growing from a small head, stick out. In case of danger, the animal hides the gills in the tube, covering itself with the lid. Flamingo Tongue Snail Next, we have another sea animal with an unusual name. Sounds like the name of an exotic dish, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a real snail. Fans of diving in the waters of the Atlantic can meet the Flamingo Tongue Snail just there. The mollusk got its unusual name because of its bright spotted coloration. Curiously, only the soft tissues of the snail, covering the unsightly shell of white or yellowish color, look so picturesque. In case of danger, the flamingo tongue snail hides in it. By the way, these mollusks are interesting not only by the name and color, they live on coral reefs where they feed on poisonous, horny corals. Despite the fact that mollusks absorb poison, 
they themselves don't suffer any damage and do not become poisonous. Pinecone fish. And finally, a fish with no less stunning coloration. The pinecone fish lives in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, where it's found on reefs and in bays. Because of its small fins and rigid scales, it's extremely slow to swim. Being a nocturnal fish, the pinecone fish spends the day in caves and under rocky ledges. One marine reserve in New South Wales recorded a small group of pinecone fish hiding under the same rocky ledge for at least seven years. At night, these fish come out of hiding and hunt in the sandbanks, illumining their way with their light organs, photophores. This light is produced by a colony of bacteria that settles in the photophores. Interestingly, pinecone fish also use the light emitted by their luminescent organs to communicate with their congeners. Do you still remember the eight-legged goat and the cat with wings? Such changes in the appearance of animals are usually caused by mutations, but there's a place on the planet that's literally swarming with abnormal and strange creatures. Of course, I'm talking about Chernobyl. Let's get to know these mutants. Without a neck. Several years ago, a very strange animal was filmed in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, which caused a stir on social networks. In the footage, we can see an animal that resembles either a deer or a moose. Everything would be fine, but it has no horns or even a neck. If you look a little closer, you'll realize that the head of this creature grows right out of the torso. The video shows the animal running across the railroad tracks and hiding in the bushes. It's unknown exactly what this creature was and what became of it afterwards. The opinions of internet users were divided. Someone thought that the camera captured a hybrid between a deer and a rabbit, while others suggested that the images show a hybrid between a horse and a cow. Considering that sometimes there are creepy and very strange animals in the exclusion zone, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these versions turns out to be true. It's possible that we've seen a mutant or a hybrid that's formed naturally. However, it's also possible that it was a usual deer or moose but with a neck injury or an underdeveloped neck. And here's another deer that was caught on camera and installed in the exclusion zone. Although it's only presumably a deer, as in this previous case, it's not clear whether it's a deer, a moose, or another creature. But if in the previous case the creature did not have a neck, this strange beast's neck is all right. Moreover, it's even too big. The creature's head is also strange. The body of the creature looks like a deer, but the head, according to many users who watch the videos, looks more like a monkey's. So what is this? A species unknown to science which appeared as a result of the Chernobyl disaster? An ordinary deer that was so distorted because of the camera angle and light? Or something else? According to many people who have seen the video, the footage shows a deer that mutated into something strange and mysterious after the Chernobyl disaster. Do you agree with this version? Crawling. Next up is the footage which was filmed by a tourist in the vicinity of Chernobyl. The author of this video started filming when he saw a strange creature crawling toward him. The author has never seen such a creature before and probably you haven't either. And no wonder because it looks extremely strange. Apparently this animal belongs to the rodents, this is indicated by the hair of the animal, its size and tail. And indeed the creature looks remotely like a rodent. But are there rodents on the planet without head and limbs? Apparently yes, and they can be found only in the Chernobyl area. I hope this creepy monster stays there. Catfish After the Chernobyl disaster, most people left the contaminated area and mass fishing in local reservoirs understandably ceased. Nevertheless, it hasn't stopped completely. Some people still live in the abandoned area and tourists come here often too. When they go fishing, they sometimes manage to catch very strange creatures. For example, mutant catfish. As the locals say, a lot of mutant catfish swam in the cooling pond. They reach an impressive size and sometimes even exceed human height in their length. Locals say that the catfish have mutated not only because of radiation but also because of a change in diet. Allegedly, they eat human remains. Of course, anything is possible, but this fact is not fully confirmed. But the fact that these mutants eat waterfowl and small birds is pure truth. According to scientists, the mutant catfish, fished and seen in Chernobyl, now are not the limit. They believe that in the future, these monsters will grow to even larger sizes. Who knows what they'll be like in 10 to 20 years? Strange Fish 
Not only strange and creepy catfish are fished from Chernobyl reservoirs, there are other unusual fish here as well. One of them was recently caught, filmed, and posted on the internet. This creature has a fish-like head and strange suction cups on its body. The body itself of this creature is quite strange. It feels like it shouldn't belong to a fish. In addition, according to the author of the video, the fish has a second mouth on its body, which can be seen if you look closely. But what kind of creature is this? Another victim of radiation poisoning? Or something else? Write your guesses about this monster in the comments. And stay tuned because further, there are several more very strange and mysterious animals that have been found in Chernobyl. Believe me, they're worth seeing. Unknown Species Not long ago, tourists found a strange creature near Chernobyl that no one could identify. Neither scientists nor tourists were able to figure out what species it belonged to. Obviously, the creature is very reminiscent of a starfish. Almost everyone who watched this clip agreed with this. So it is. But how did the starfish end up in Chernobyl? And how did it get into a freshwater reservoir which is atypical for its habitat? Scientists have no answers to these questions. Is it possible that this creature is in fact not a starfish, but a mutant of unknown origin? Is it possible that it's in fact an ordinary fish, which acquired such a strange form as a result of contamination of the reservoir with radiation? What do you think? In a puddle The next video was shot by hikers who decided to drive around the contaminated area in a car. At one point, the driver stopped. His attention was caught by something lying in a puddle. When the guys got out of the car and took a closer look at it, they couldn't figure out what it was. A pink creature with pretty large teeth, a long tail, an elongated tongue, and something like hooves. Very strange combination, right? The animal was marked with a seal, and it was strange too. The guys couldn't figure out what they'd stumbled across. Maybe it was a piglet that had mutated and became ugly as a result of radiation exposure. Or maybe it was a new kind of animal that appeared after the disaster at the power unit. Whatever the case, I wouldn't go near such a freak, let alone touching its tail. Who knows what you can catch from an unknown beast? Piglet If the previous creature was not clear, and it was not entirely clear whether it was a piglet or something else, then things are clearer with this creature. A few years ago, a video of this creature was uploaded to the internet. According to the video's author, this is a real piglet, but it's mutated. It's mutated very seriously. As you can see, it even formed a human-like face. You can see it even despite the not very good quality of the video. On the deformed face of the piglet, you can see a pronounced nose, chin, and eyes. Everything resembles a human face. As the authors of the video said, they found the piglet with a human face in one of the sewers of Pripyat near Chernobyl. I think we can take their word for it. After all, there is often something strange going on in sewers. Scientists have repeatedly stumbled upon unknown creatures in the sewers. And given that Chernobyl sewers are still contaminated with radiation, it's not surprising that such a strange and creepy mutant could be born there. Parasite a few years ago, a Chinese woman came to Chernobyl on a personal tour and wanted to see the abandoned sites and local animals. I'm sure she didn't expect to come across this strange and creepy creature during her tour of Chernobyl. She stumbled upon the strange creature not far from the notorious Red Forest, the forested area that took the highest dose of radiation after the reactor explosion and turned a brownish-red color. Not surprisingly, the Chinese woman encountered the unknown creature there as radiation level in the Red Forest area is still quite high. When the Chinese woman posted a video of the strange creature on the internet, users began to actively discuss it and put forward their versions. The creature, which looked like something made of twisted branches and threads, was slowly creeping around the ground, taking all kinds of shapes. What could it be? According to the tourists from China and many users, we can see another Chernobyl mutant of unknown origin. But scientists have a different opinion. They think the Chinese woman was able to capture a water worm parasite. This is a good theory. However, it's not clear why it was on land. These creatures live in fresh water. Giant Moth Not so long ago, the blue underwing moth was spotted in the reserve located in the exclusion zone. It's one of the largest in Europe. It's listed in the Red Book of Ukraine as an endangered species. According to scientists, it flew on its own to the scientific department of the Biosphere Reserve. This individual attracted the attention of scientists because the moth was very large. 
Its wingspan reached 11 centimeters, which is comparable with the size of a small bird. Many internet users learning about the visit of the moth to Chernobyl began to worry that the radiation affected insects, turning them into giant mutants. But in fact, that's not entirely true. The blue underwing is large itself. Its wingspan often reaches 8 to 10 centimeters. Nevertheless, its visit to the contaminated area still surprised scientists because they'd not observed it here before. So this moth can be quite called a strange or at least an unexpected guest. At the same time, it should not be excluded that there are abnormally large insects in Chernobyl. It's quite possible that soon they'll be talked about. Let's take our minds off the creepy Chernobyl mutants and look at some cuter creatures. How about a little giraffe, a fawn, or a crocodile? The most adorable baby animals are further in this episode. Giraffes These animals are known to everyone, especially children adore them, because giraffes seem to them something unattainable, something abnormally high and cool. And strange as it may seem, these creatures are so big from very childhood. The fact is that they're born with a height of about six and a half feet. By the way, since birth takes place in a standing position, the little giraffe falls from a hefty height at birth. That's not the most pleasant surprise Mother Nature prepared for it. In addition to the height of six and a half feet, the weight of a young giraffe is about 100 pounds. Development is relatively rapid. After a couple of hours, this creature can easily stand on its feet, and very soon it can run. Giraffes grow quite dynamically. Already at six years of age, they're full-grown size. And this is taking into account the fact that the life cycle of these creatures lasts 25 to 35 years on average. And finally, while you're still enjoying these beauties, I'll tell you an interesting fact. Although giraffes are born without horn-like ossicones, the place of their future appearance is marked with tufts of black hair, under which there's cartilage. Gradually, the cartilage tissue ossifies into small horns, which then begin to grow. Bundles of black hair remain with the giraffe for several years, then they fade and disappear. Crocodile One of the most dangerous creatures in the world, these predators have a fearsome size, incredible strength, and an indescribable speed with which they leave no chance for their prey to survive. However, while mature crocodiles are feared by almost everyone, baby crocodiles inspire no fear at all. Take a look for yourself. Many baby animals do not have the same appearance as their parents. This is caused by many reasons. Oh, no. okay. Nevertheless, crocodile babies are just like their parents. After hatching, the baby's about 12 inches long, with most of the body being its head. It's also noteworthy that even at a young age, these creatures have sharp teeth. Nature wants to push them to do bad things. But while they don't hunt on everything, and while they don't understand what hunting is, they just want to be petted. After all, those big shiny eyes, clumsy little limbs, and spots shimmering in the sun will not leave anyone indifferent. But I must disappoint you. Behind this defenseless naivety and beauty, there's also a vulnerability to attack. Because baby crocodiles are helpless but relatively large in size, they're often hunted by other predators. And no matter how much an adult tries to protect its offspring, statistically, only a few babies survive. Now, knowing about this difficult fate, you can look at adult crocodiles differently. Each of them has overcome a difficult path to become such a strong and independent predator. Fawn And this is probably one of the cutest and most adorable creatures in the whole forest. This is a baby deer, or a fawn. I mean, don't you want to hug this creature? Hold it close to you, kiss it, or scratch its back? I can't believe anyone's ever been indifferent to it. Even children can play with it because, if you don't know, baby deer are born with only four teeth. All of them are on the lower jaw, so it's unlikely that it'll bite you. This kind animal can often be found alone, but don't be in a hurry to approach it because often when the deer is still small, the mother may leave it alone, going for food. Knowing the mother's instinct and care for the child, you understand what an unexpected encounter can lead to. So still, I would advise admiring the fawn from afar, even though it's insanely cute. And this is a creature which at birth is only as big as a fingernail of a person. Nevertheless, the small size is more than enough to melt even the coldest heart. The only frozen heart around here is yours. 
meet the baby octopus. This mollusk is considered by many to be the most intelligent invertebrate in the world. By the way, did you know that octopuses have a rudimentary cerebral cortex? Scientists also prove that these creatures can feel empathy and psychological pain. But no one has figured out why this happens. However, the fact remains. In addition, octopuses also recognize human faces. But if for some reason you still don't believe in their intelligence, then here's a real story. In one of the aquariums, fish began to disappear. The zoo workers didn't understand what was going on until they did their own investigation, and only it revealed this thief to the world. It turned out that the octopus had analyzed when zoo employees were patrolling the areas. At that particular time, it constantly moved to a nearby aquarium, grabbed a fish, and got back again. You all know me, you know I wouldn't lie about this. So you look at these little guys and you can't think that they'll grow up to be such cunning creatures. Owl. A bird of prey which, at the same time, is insanely charming and unusual. Exactly the same can be said about a baby owl. The chicks are born with flaccus, but they are completely deaf and blind. In short, the chicks do not understand anything at all. So much so that at first they don't even ask for food. The first steps in this plan are made by the male. It catches various small rodents and the like and carries them to their chicks. Already at this point, there is a real struggle for survival in which the older babies are the clear favorites. They can steal from their siblings, taking food literally from under their noses. For this reason, many chicks often die because of lack of food. For a whole month, owlets cannot live without their mother's warmth, and only by the 40th day when they leave their nest for the first time, chicks weigh about 4.5 pounds. Many people, seeing an owl alone in the forest or somewhere else, immediately want to help and pick it up take it somewhere or even take it away with them. Keep in mind that it's strictly forbidden to do this. It's enough just to go make sure the owl's not wounded and that there are no birds of prey nearby. Next, go your own way. After all, the baby's probably being watched by its mother somewhere in the distance. And this process of walking alone is extremely important so the chick can learn to navigate around. Emperor Tamarin I bet that many of you have never seen this amazing creature before. That's a pity. After all, this exotic monkey is simply amazing and very cute. It was discovered in distant 1907 by Swiss zoologist Emile Goldi, who gave it the imperial title. The monkey has no outstanding size. On average, it reaches 12 inches in length and weighs about a pound. By the way, precisely because of this small size, this species of monkey is very high up, which makes their place of residence almost inaccessible to unwanted guests. Therefore, if you see these monkeys, you should know that you won't be able to reach them. By the way, it's very easy to distinguish the Emperor Tamarin from any other monkey. It's enough to see their gorgeous whiskers. By the way, the whiskers appear in these creatures from birth, so you will not make a mistake. Although Emperor Tamarins live up to 15 years, unfortunately the population of these monkeys is slowly but surely decreasing. These creatures have taken a fancy to other primates, us. People began to capture these exotic monkeys for their own pleasure and destroy the tamarind's habitat. This is how humans destroy another empire. Sea Otter This is another exotic creature. This time it's a marine mammal. Its main difference from the others is that this dude can create no habitation on land. It can normally live in the water all its life. Moreover, that's most likely where sea otters are born. The pups are born sighted with 10 milk teeth and quite dense fur all over the body. The mother licks the newborn for hours, after which the baby's fur accumulates so much air that it floats like a cork and will not drown. Exactly like a human, the mother feeds its baby with milk. This lasts for several months. Nevertheless, after a couple of months, the real training begins in their family. The pup is taught to swim and dive. On average, after six months of this routine, sea otters become adult and self-sufficient mammals. But while you're looking at these beauties, I'll tell you a couple more interesting facts about them. Sea otters don't have any subcutaneous fat. The only thing they seek refuge from the cold is their thick fur. And their most developed sensory organ is the vibrasi, the one we call cat's mustache. With this organ, even when blind, sea otters can easily seek out prey. Also, they can often hide something like a pebble in a special pocket. They can carry the pebble for a lifetime. They use it to split mollusks. That's how these otters are, thoughtful and complex creatures. Meerkat And these are the insanely cute mammals of the mongoose family. 
If all the previous creatures from this episode are wild by nature and necessarily need to live in the wild, then meerkats are just those cute creatures that don't mind being tamed. Moreover, people have long known both the set of vaccinations that need to be given to these babies and, in general, how to take care of them. In short, if you were looking for some unusual pets for the house, now you have a good option. The main thing is you must be prepared for the fact that, by standard, the meerkat is a quiet animal, but if you scare it, it will be ready to howl for days on end. This is especially the problem with young meerkats, which recently found themselves with new owners. The poor thing will howl in fear until it gets used to its new home. It will also be running looking for its mother and other meerkat congeners. In short, it is important to have nerves of steel or poor hearing. Baby meerkats can easily fit in the palm of your hand, but the next animals from this episode will easily fit on your finger or even on a coin. Let's take a look at them. Etruscan Shrew A couple of centuries ago, scientists thought that a mammal weighing less than 2.5 grams couldn't exist, as there were no conditions for normal metabolism in such a body. However, in 1822, they changed their opinion when a species of the Etruscan Shrew was discovered. It's a microscopic creature that's considered the smallest living mammal. However, some might dispute this title, but I'll talk more about that later. The Etruscan Shrew is about 1 to 1 and a half inches in length, and the weight of the animal doesn't exceed 0.05 ounces. Indeed, it's amazing that this is a full-fledged mammal. This creature moves very quickly and sleeps only a couple hours a day. The Etruscan Shrew eats almost all the time. During the day, it absorbs food three to six times more than it weighs itself. This animal, somewhat resembling a mole, eats insects, small invertebrates, but sometimes it even eats frogs and lizards. By the way, the Etruscan Shrew is the case when we can say little pigeons can carry great messages because the species benefits forestry and agriculture by destroying insect pests. Kitty's Hognosed Bat and here's the main contender for the title of the smallest creature in the world of mammals. It's the kitty's hog-nosed bat that's often compared to the Etruscan shrew. Many believe that this animal is the smallest mammal, and even the Guinness Book of World Records agrees. This bat weighs slightly more than the Etruscan shrew, around 0.07 ounces, but it's shorter in length, 1.1 inches. This creature does not grow to 1.5 inches in length. Not without reason, this animal is sometimes called bumblebee bat because in terms of size, it is a real insect rather than a mammal. This tiny creature lives in Thailand and Myanmar. These bats spend days in the depths of small caves, and in the twilight they fly out to hunt in groups of four to five. They hunt whatever they can eat, mostly insects similar in size to themselves. The Smallest Frog Let's digress from mammals and move on to amphibians. Here, the Guinean microfrog, Pedofern omnesis, is unrivaled. The species was only described in 2012, and no wonder. These frogs are more like insects and even make sounds like insects. Plus, they hide under the foliage, so they're not easy to find. You could say the scientists discovered the species by accident, and when they realized they'd stumbled upon microhylid frogs, they were shocked. They were no more than 0.3 inches long. The frog could easily fit on a coin. These tiny creatures live in the thick leaf litter of rainforests and feed on the tiniest insects. The tiny frogs themselves are eaten mostly by scorpions and a large number of local invertebrates. Interestingly, it is in Southeast Asia and Oceania that you can find quite a few tiny record-breaking animals. The next one is also from this region. It is from Indonesia. Meet Pytos cypris progenica. Simply put, it is the tiniest fish in the world. It may look like an embryo or a fry, but it's actually an adult, full-grown fish from the carp family. Larger carps would laugh at their Indonesian tiny relatives because they barely reach 0.3 inches in length. To maintain its tiny size, this microfish has shed many of the attributes of adult fish. Its torso is translucent, and its head skeleton is so small that it leaves the brain completely unprotected. In addition, females can carry only a few eggs, and the male reproductive organ is so small that it is capable of fertilizing each egg individually. Urukanji Jellyfish The microfish from Indonesia is not only very small but also harmless. The same cannot be said about the next animal in this episode. The Urukanji Jellyfish has a very beautiful name and a very elegant appearance. Only a small bell of about 0.7 inches wide and four thin tentacles a few millimeters long. 
However, sometimes the tentacles can grow to 3.2 feet long, but this isn't the main thing. The main thing is that even with such tiny size, the Urukanji jellyfish is incredibly dangerous. These Pacific jellyfish can boast of unusual venomousness because they belong to the class of insidious box jellyfish. Urukanji jellyfish are dangerous not only to sea creatures but also to humans. The Urukanji jellyfish bite causes the syndrome of the same name, which manifests itself in a very unpleasant symptoms, from pain throughout the body, nausea and tachycardia to pulmonary edema. The Urukanji jellyfish venom has the property of delayed action, so symptoms can manifest themselves within a few days. And people say size matters. Royal Antelope Antelopes are some of the most famous animals in Africa and some of the most unlucky ones because they're hunted by lions, eagles, hyenas, and so on. While the common antelope is a good dinner for an African predator, the royal antelope is more like sunflower seeds or chips. It's hard to even believe that this is a real antelope and not another animal. It's only 10 to 12 inches tall and weighs 3 to 7.7 .7 pounds. The calf of the royal antelope is so small that it could fit in the palm of an adult's hand. This species is found in the dense forests of West Africa from Sierra Leone to Ghana. Royal antelopes are cautious and vigilant and are mostly active at night. Predator could devour such a little creature in no time at all. It's funny that this species is called royal. <laughs> nice sarcasm. Brachysia nana Giant anacondas, Komodo dragons, and saltwater crocodiles are all truly enormous reptiles. In fact, they're so big that they wouldn't even notice if Brachysia nana, their antipode relative, got into their mouths. For that matter, this creature is difficult to notice in general because the species of chameleon is less than 1.1 inches in length. Scientists call this endemic of Madagascar the smallest reptile species in the world. By the way, this species is very new. It was discovered in 2021. At first, scientists couldn't even believe their eyes. They were so amazed by the tiny size that they doubted the maturity of the individuals found. Only a microcomputer tomography of the chameleons cleared up their doubts and presented the world with a truly unique animal. Antelopes and chameleons are cool, of course, but what about more familiar animals? For example, dogs. I don't think it's secret that the Chihuahua breed is very small. Such dogs can even be carried in purses. But even among such tiny ones, there are record breakers of their own. This is Miracle Millie, a Chihuahua from Puerto Rico who got into the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's smallest dog. She's 3.8 inches tall and weighs about 0.8 pounds. In the pictures, you can see how tiny the dog is. Even things like a sneaker, a ball, or a bottle seem big compared to her. And this is a full-grown adult. Her owner, Vanessa, says when Millie was just born, she could fit in a teaspoon and she had to be fed from a pipette. Because of her size, she couldn't eat the usual way herself. Vanessa is very fond of Millie and often takes pictures of her but she admits that there are disadvantages to such a record breaker. Vanessa has to watch her feet all the time in order to not literally crush her pet, and on walks, Millie often gets lost, even in low grass. Western Pygmy Marmoset Let's return to the more exotic specimens. High up in the foliage of the tropical forests of South America, a tiny monkey lives. It hides inconspicuously behind tree trunks and branches like a chameleon and jumps like a squirrel. This is the Western Pygmy Marmoset, and it's the smallest monkey in the world. It's important to note that this is not the smallest primate. This title belongs to the mouse lemurs from Madagascar. The Western Pygmy Marmoset weighs just over 0.2 pounds and grows to about 6 inches in length. Huge gorillas and chimpanzees would have laughed at their <laughs> tiny relative since the Western Pygmy Marmoset can easily fit in the hand of an adult. By the way, the monkey has a very long tail. As a rule, it's longer than its body. It's not tenacious, but helps the little monkey to keep its balance when it jumps through trees in search of food, plants, fruit, and insects. In zoos, western pygmy marmosets also eat worms. Speaking of worms, take a look at this. It looks like an ordinary worm. That's good for fishing, doesn't it? But in fact, it's not a worm. It's a snake. Yeah, it's the Barbados thread snake from the island of Barbados. This species is less than 3.9 inches long, so it's not surprising that the snake has the appearance of a worm, but it's not a dangerous snake. However, it is dangerous only for its prey, termites and ant larvae. For humans, the snake is not dangerous. At most, the Barbados thread snake will pose for the camera lying on a coin. By the way, these reptiles have one more interesting feature apart from length. Because of the miniature size, the female lays only one egg, but a large one. 
The length of the hatchling is 1.9 inches, which is half the length of the mother. But for snakes of this size, this is normal. It's the law of nature. The smaller the snake, the larger the offspring. This strategy allows the babies to come into the world as prepared for life as possible. Scientists believe that if their body length were shorter, they simply wouldn't be able to find food of a suitable size. And finally, I'll talk a little bit about the animal you've probably been waiting for. It's the bee hummingbird, the smallest bird on the planet. I'm sure everybody knows about it, but as a rule, many people's knowledge about hummingbirds is limited to the fact, but there are many interesting things to tell about the bee hummingbird. For example, they weigh only 0.07 ounces and are only 1.9 to 2.3 inches in length. Also, these birds have a frantic heart rhythm. The bee hummingbird's heart beats up to 500 times per minute. Not only is their heart fast, but also their wings. The bird flaps its wings more than 90 times a second. It's per second, not minute. I didn't miss say it. It has to flap its wings so quickly to hover over the flowers and drink the nectar. By the way, the bee hummingbird consumes about 0.07 to 0.08 ounces of nectar per day, which means that the bird eats as much as it weighs itself. Another interesting fact about hummingbirds is the ability to fly backwards. This is the only bird in the world which can do so. And the final fact about hummingbirds that many people don't know, these tiny beauties live only in Cuba. That's it for today. Which creature from this episode impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments, and thank you so much for watching.